Welcome to Chop Shop Motors. My name is Clay. Today is catch up day. So I'm doing a little video and trying to get you guys up to speed on what's going on here at Chop Shop Motors. Lots of stuff's been happening. Weather has been, uh, for Arizona, crazy. We've had rain, and snor uh, storms, and thunderstorms, and lightning, and we love it. It does limit, um, <laughs> just limit how much time you're gonna be out here filming. I was out here a couple days ago and you know, the heat comes down, which is, you know, everybody's like, oh yay, the heat's down, but the humidity goes up, which probably makes it <laughs> just about as bad. And, um, you know, between the heat, the humidity, and the mosquitoes, I was like, wow, this isn't that much fun. So anyway, today there, it is a little bit cooler, taking advantage of it. We're gonna get some of these updates done and get you caught up on some of the progress. So this video is all about Buffy, the 72 F100 that we got back from paint. I'm gonna take you around, talk to you about kind of some of the areas that, uh, that had to be dealt with, what it looks like, and then what my next steps are as we address either putting on chrome, putting things back together, uh, things of that nature. So let's take a look at the truck. So this is Buffy, the 72 F100. The reason it's Buffy is because this truck was built from a buffet of parts. The truck was probably built from 20 or so F100s and the name stuck and here it is. So what, what did it need when we took it in for paint? Well, the truck had a base coat clear coat that was peeling off. So to fix that, basically for the most part had to start over and address it. So it had a couple spots that uh, had been fixed that were looked really good. But for the most part, the truck was in dire need of a fresh coat of paint. When we did that, we, we made a couple asks because the truck had already been repainted. I didn't have to have, I didn't have to pull the bed off of the truck to paint the back of the cab. It was already painted. Everything looked good. So we didn't, we didn't do it. Um, we, we also didn't paint the inside of the bed mainly because I didn't really I didn't really want to spend the money on something that I think uh, Shelby and I can do or I can do and get it where it needs to go uh, without incurring you know body shop costs. There was a little bit of rust at the body at the bed seam right there in the middle just above the color split there was some rust on both sides so that was addressed and taken care of which works is, is really good the other side was a little worse we also split the paint a little differently this time so if you look at the back of the truck the back of the truck has the color go up over the top and just like the bottom just like eight inches or so uh, is covered before it split in the middle, but I had a XLT tailgate um, fascia for it, which covered all that up and it looked really cool. Love it. The truck's not an XLT, but it it made a you know did look good. The downside is is the truck oh a, couple, a year or so after it was finished got caught in a hailstorm. And so it, it was almost totaled again. And, but you know, we're too stubborn to ever let anything get totaled. So we saved it one more time. And I could not find that rear, I could not find a decent rear piece for the tailgate. So I used a small, the smaller version. And so the smaller version will sit in, you know, it's about, I don't know, seven inches wide and just kind of sits in the middle there. So this, this should look nice. And uh, that's the way it goes. That's the way the truck rolls. So 
other than that, body-wise, not a ton of major work that had to be done. Other than uh, a little bit of work. It's all covered up because there's no glass in it and it's been raining. On the top of the cab, I think there was some issues. There were some issues um, after with some of the bodywork that Colin took care of. He didn't say much about it, so um, that was taken care of. This truck, when we bought it, someone put it, had put a sunroof in it. And so I actually cut the cab top off and put another cab top on it when I built it. So I just couldn't deal with, it was never gonna be right to try to weld. For me to try to weld that hole off, it was never gonna be right. So putting a roof on it was the best solution. That area that needed to be addressed had nothing to do with putting a roof on it. So other than that, as we kind of look around it, everything is now ready to put the chrome back on. Looks good, um, it's dirty. When they go to paint, holy moly, when you get them back, you, you got your work cut out. So I've already started putting some of the chrome back on. I started putting some of this, some of the uh, pieces, trim pieces on the hood and the letters. Um, I bought some other reflectors for the side of the hood. Inside, the engine compartment was completely detailed. Engine was fresh painted. Valve covers were polished. Frame rails were painted. Well, it's been to a paint body shop, so now it looks like the motor's been in there for 100 years. So, I guess we clean it again. That's, uh, that's a project, a project for Shelby. That's where we're at now. Putting the front grill on is probably the next step. The grill has been, the grill surround, I've had it straightened by a uh, plating shop and uh, it, has, it, does, it ha does have a couple little dings. I'm not even sure I'm going to mess with them just because sometimes it just makes them worse if you're not going to really take it all the way down to perfect. Um, I repainted the black for the details on it and so we're going to put it back together. Shelby has new grill inserts to put in it which makes a huge statement on these trucks when they're all nice and crisp and clean. Headlight doors have been straightened previously so I'll repaint and detail those. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, bit of work now to clean everything up and then start to reassemble it but now is when it starts to become a truck again. Once we get, once we get, make sure it's kind of out of the frame, sorry guys. Once we get the window rubbers in, we can put some glass in it and that'll be nice because it'll be much, much better to have glass in it rather than get torqued up. But that's about it for Buffy. Stay tuned as we keep you posted. Um, right now, it looks good as far as paint, but it doesn't, it doesn't look stellar because everything's still a little, um, still a little rough around the edges. The wheels are dirty, the tires are ugly, you know, it's got a tarp over it, but once we get all the trim back on it and everything put on and cleaned up and armor all, it's going to be cool. I'm Clay for Chop Shop Motors, and we'll see you on the next project.